Don't use your spiritual weapons carnally. So what do you mean by that? In other words, uh, if I'm speeding, I can't ask in Jesus' name, uh, get into my foot and uh, help me to slow down. No, that's something you can do. I ain't getting no amens on that one. That's, that's, see, that's a, carnal, that's a carnal thing, but you can't ask uh, for spiritual help in a carnal situation. Amen. Uh, Lord, help them not to fire me. I've been late 50 times. So I, I pray that they won't, they won't know. No, no, you should have thought about that before them 50 times came. Amen. 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 That's, that's, that's a... <laughs> That's a carnal thing. That's something that you have caused, uh, something you've done. Now, I'm not saying that you can't pray for spiritual help. Yes, you can. But I'm saying a lot of times in carnal situations, we're trying to use spiritual weapons, Amen. and it's not going to work. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we, that's one thing we want to get straight is that uh, these weapons are not to be used carnally, but they're to be used spiritually. Amen. These are not carnal weapons. These are spiritual weapons. So uh, when we go into talking about using Jesus' name, somebody said the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So we talk about in the name of Jesus. We hear people say it often, but what is the power behind the name of Jesus? There is power in the name of Jesus. And when we use it the right or the correct way, it is a very powerful tool that we have in our arsenal. And the scripture tells us in 1 John 2, 12 through 13, I'm reading out of the Message Bible. All of the scripture lesson today is coming out of the Message Bible. And it says, I remind you, my dear children, your sins are forgiven. Listen, say it with me, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Say it with me, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You veterans were in on the ground floor and know the one who started all this. You newcomers have won a big victory over the evil one. And a second reminder, dear children, you know the Father from personal experience. Yes. So what I want you to understand is that we obtain salvation. In other words, our sins are forgiven in Jesus' name. So listen, if our sins are forgiven in Jesus' name... That is the first, that is the, the foundation of everything that we're, that we're building upon in Jesus' name. So a ground level, if my sins are forgiven in Jesus' name, just think what else I can do in Jesus' name. Amen. My sins are forgiven in Jesus' name. Everything I've ever done is forgiven. In Jesus' name. Everything that's ever happened to me is forgiven in Jesus' name. Right. And listen, everything I'm doing and everything I will do in the future is forgiven in Jesus' name. Amen. Isn't that powerful? Amen. So everything, every sin is forgiven in Jesus' name. Yes. Every sin is forgiven. My past is forgiven. How? In Jesus', in Jesus name. Amen. Everything that's ever been ever done to me and every mistake I've ever made has been forgiven in, in Jesus' name. So we see how powerful off the bat, how powerful Jesus' name is. His name is so powerful that it erases my past. His name is so powerful it erases everything that has ever, that has ever been done to me and everything I've ever done wrong. It's been erased in the name of of Jesus. That's powerful to me. So he's saying here now, I'm a veteran. Dr. O and I, we're, we're veterans in, in the walk with God. Over 30 years, I would say we're veterans. Yes. So he's saying now, if the veterans know this, now I want you to teach this, teach, teach this to people who are coming in. I want you to teach this to people who are just coming to Christ. Let them know that their sins have been forgiven in the name of Jesus. He says, teach us, tell everybody that their sins have been forgiven in Jesus' name. Yes, How many you know your sins have been forgiven in Jesus' name? Yes, so if my sins have been forgiven in Jesus' name, it, it doesn't mean that I'm just going to go out and do things and then just ask God to forgive me in Jesus' name. Right, right. I'm not gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna use his grace to it. Uh, I'm not gonna take advantage of his grace. I'm not gonna abuse his grace. Okay. But just to know that. My sins has been forgiven in the past, present, and in the future 
How? In Jesus' name. So we know already that our sins are forgiven in Jesus' name. You veterans know the one who started it all. God started it all. And you newcomers, such vitality and strength. God's word is so steady in you. Your fellowship with God enables you to gain a victory over the evil one. Now I want you to say with me, your fellowship, your fellowship with, God with God enables you, enables you to, gain to gain a victory, a victory over, over the evil one. <laughs> now notice that I can use the name of Jesus, but he puts another, uh, another principle onto this that I have to understand is that my fellowship with God enables you to gain a victory over the evil one. So my fellowship with God, my relationship with God, my communion with God enables me to use his name. Y'all didn't get that because y'all didn't uh, My relationship enables me to use his name. How can I use his name effectively and not even know him? That's right, right. Amen. So John is saying your fellowship with God enables you to gain victory over the how did I gain the victory in Jesus' name? I have to have a relationship with him. Right. I can use Jesus' name, but I must be in relationship with him. How can I use his name when I'm not in a relationship with him? Uh, you can use it, but you won't be effective. So, so, so the devil knows if you have a relationship with God or not. We know if we have a relationship with God. And everything else knows if we have, we cannot, we will not have victory over anything, even the evil one, if we don't have a relationship. And you can use his name all day. Well, Bishop told me I can use the name of Jesus. Yes, you can. But you must have a relationship first. Amen. 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 So if my relationship enables me to use Jesus' name and get the victory. That's right. That's right. My relationship. So I, I become a veteran at this because I know the power of his name. Because the more I use it and the more uh, effective it is or the more results I get, I keep on using it because it works. It works. And I can preach this because I know that in Jesus' name's work. Amen. I said in Jesus' name work. I was, so I was on my job this week, and I, it was Friday, and I was telling Dr. Loomis, this may seem like a small thing to you, but it's a big thing to me, because I, I, I ask God to help me every, in all things. Amen. So I'm, I'm teaching, and, and, and uh, so I know one of the requirements on my, on my job is that we make water. I, 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 t I teach water purification, so uh, my students have to make water. Hey man, what, what good is it? Teach them, I teach them how to make it, they don't do it. <laughs> I'm like, no, uh -uh, I, I, I'm the best instructor on Fort Lee. You gonna That's make right. That's right. That's right. You're going to make some water. Hey, hey man, thank you. We, I said, you're you going to make some water. Amen. So listen, so, you know, I'm going through, uh, I'm going through, this is my testimony. I'm going through today. And uh, so, you know, we've been using the machine all week. It's been doing good all week. But the day I get ready to make water, it ain't working right. <laughs> Machine ain't working right. The pump ain't pumping water. I mean, I mean, the cycle is not going the way it's supposed to go. The chemicals are not working. I mean, the, I mean, I'm, it's not working, y'all. And I, I don't promise these students, y'all gonna make water today. And they said, Mister, oh, we, we, it's already the middle of the day. We haven't made water yet. Are, are we gonna make water? I say, yes, we're gonna make water today. Yes, sir. So I'm, I'm praying. So I'm praying over one thing. And it works in Jesus' name. Amen. I said, this pump don't work. The pumps are working in Jesus' name. Then something else went wrong. So I said, I prayed about it, troubleshooted, and it started working in Jesus' name. So listen now, we get down to the last step. Before we get wet, ready to make water, we have to chlorinate the water, and the chlorinator is not working. <laughs> The chlorinate is not because we have to chlor chlorinate the water to get all the microorganisms to kill all the microorganisms in the water. And I can't let the soldiers drink water and, and the water ain't chlorinated. Right. They might get sick. That's right. That's right. So the last step was to put chlorination in the water. Yes. So the, 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 the pump ain't working. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? And so the Holy Spirit said, get some help. Right. 
I said, thank you, Holy Ghost. So I called one of my fellow instructors, and he came over, and uh, he was helping me. And I'm still praying in Jesus' name. I'm praying now. And I'm and this is what I'm telling you. When you pray in Jesus' name, he does things that you don't even think about he would do. Yeah. Yeah. He, he would do things you don't even think. And see, he, my, my fellow instructor did something I didn't even think about. I, it never crossed my mind to do. Yes, sir. He took the pump apart, and there's a clear hose that goes to, uh, to put the chlorination into the water. So it's clogged. I can see it trying to go into the water, but it, it goes and it come back. Go and it come back. Go and it come back. And I, I could not, for the life of me, get this thing to work. I could not get this glitch out of this machine. So he said, Mr. Owen, he said, take the, take the pump apart. And, and I'm looking at him now, and he blows through the pump. He blows through the pipe. Wow. I, 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 I didn't think, uh, I, I'm like, man, you ain't got no breath in you to blow this thing. And, but he's blowing, and he, he blows it, and then the, the, the chlorine squirts out. Wow. I said, my God, look at that in Jesus' name. <laughs> he said, it's working now, Mr. Owen. I said, yes. I said, yes, sir, it's working now. I put the pump back together, called all the students together, and about, in about 10 minutes, we were making water. Yeah. Yeah. They drink from the hose. Hey, Mr. Owen, we, we, we made water. I said, and it was 3 o'clock. I said, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And then one hour before they got ready to leave and go home. But we made water before the, before the, and see, you might not think that's a big name, but I was praying in Jesus' name. Yes, right. Amen. Amen. And, I, and you, you might think it's a coincidence, but I believe Jesus helped that, make that pump so it worked. Yeah, right. I believe the Holy Ghost helped me do what I need to do, and I prayed it in Jesus' name. So you listen, when you acknowledge God in the small things, in Jesus' name. Amen. As you go up the ladder, you begin to believe God for greater things. And you know the power of Jesus' name. Use the power of Jesus' name even for your money. You better, use the power, you better use the name of Jesus. You better use the name of Jesus for your health. Amen. You better use the name of Jesus when you begin, when you get pain in your body. You better get you use, better use the name of Jesus to help you raise your children. You better use the name of Jesus because the name of Jesus works. It's the most powerful name that you can use. Yes. Amen. The name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So his name is powerful. And I'm going to prove to you in the scripture where it is powerful. Yes. Let's look at, uh, let's look at, let's go to the next one. Acts 3, 12 through 16. Acts 3, 12 through 16. When Peter saw he had, con had a congregation, he addressed the people. Oh, Israelites, why does it, why does this take you by such complete surprise? And why stare at us if our power or piety made him walk? So the situation is they're going in and out of the temple and the, the beautiful gate. And there's a man that's been there uh, all this time and he's begging for alms. Yes. So Peter and John, they're, they're preaching the word of God and they pass by this man. Listen. And, and listen what it says. The God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, the God of our ancestors, has glorified, listen, his son, Jesus. Amen. The very one that Pilate called innocent, you repudiated. You repudiated the Holy One, the Just One, and asked for a murderer in his place. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you no sooner killed Listen, the author of life, then God raised him from the dead and were the witnesses. Say it with me. Faith in Jesus' name. Faith in Jesus Say it again. Faith in Jesus' name. Faith in Jesus Say it again. Faith in Jesus' name. Faith in Jesus name. Put this man, Put this man whose, whose condition you know so well, you know so well on, his on his feet. Yes, faith and nothing but faith. But this man healed and whole right before your eyes. Amen. Amen. He's healed right before their eyes. How did he get healed? Faith, faith. faith in Jesus' name. Amen. This person who has been lame, this person who have never, have never walked, this person, I mean, he, he wants to go into the temple and praise God, and he looks at John and, and Peter and he says, Will y'all give me some money? And everybody else had just been giving him money, but they saw a greater need. Yes. That this man really wanted to walk. 
and they, 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 raised, they grabbed him by the hand, and when they pulled him up, they pulled him up in Jesus' name, having faith in the name of Jesus, put strength into his ankle bone. He got strength in his ankle bones by faith in the name of Jesus. He went into the temple, prayed, leaping and praising God, and everyone was astonished. Why are you astonished at this man leaping and praising God? Because we didn't believe that he could do it in Jesus' name. Amen. He was healed in faith in Jesus' name. Wow. Do you have faith in Jesus' name? In other words, it's not the power doesn't lie in you. The power lies in the name of Jesus. And to know that his name alone, yes, he does it, but this faith in his name, whom God sent to do what he's doing on our behalf, why not use his name? Amen. So if I use his name, his name gets result. His name brings healing to my body. Yes. I said the name of Jesus brings healing to your body. Amen. The name of Jesus brings healing to your emotions. Amen. The name of Jesus brings healing to your psyche. Amen. The name of Jesus brings healing to your social status, Amen. your economic status. I don't care what it is, when you use the name of Jesus, healing comes in that situation. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So I, I'm going to use the name of Jesus. Amen. So faith in the name of Jesus brings results. Amen. It gets results. And he, he broke the stronghold of the people because they never they didn't believe he could walk. They never believed he could be healed. Amen. But God is looking for somebody who has the audacity to use his name. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Yes, I have faith but I have faith to use his name. Right. And when I have faith to use his name, I'm going to get results. Somebody said the faith in Jesus' name Amen. gets results. So there are six principles I want to teach you today right. using the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus delivers salvation. Amen. When you use the name of Jesus, he forgives you of your sin in his name and it brings salvation. Now, that salvation is not to be taken lightly because I wish I had time to really break down salvation. Do you know salvation means wholeness? Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Salvation means deliverance. Yes. Salvation means prosperity. Yes. Salvation means healing. Yes. Salvation means nothing broken, nothing missing, and nothing out of place. That's really salvation. Really, the way it's designed, Dr. Odom, when we got saved, we got delivered. Right. Amen. Right. Wow. That's good. But thank you for teaching on strongholds, because strongholds places us out of salvation. Amen. Because right. we no longer believe in the power of Jesus' name. Amen. That's why they didn't believe a man was healed, because of stronghold. But you, you know, them folk, they, they was going to the temple to praise God. Amen. They, they were coming in the house of God like we come in the house of God. But there's a but if there was a person out there that was lame that was not healed, and we got all this power in here, yes. Amen. strongholds would keep us from not praying for Him in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So what keeps us from living life to the full? Strongholds. Amen. But really, salvation. We have everything necessary to be delivered. I ain't getting no amen. I want someone to move to the next one. The name of Jesus gives a, belie a believer supernatural strength. Yes, sir. Peter and John had supernatural strength when they put their hands and connected their hands with the lame man. He got supernatural strength. You, you now, you now. This man has never walked. Has not, has never walked before. And when they put their hands in his hand and they say in Jesus' name, "Get up and walk." Strength, supernatural strength came to his ankles. Yeah. Sure did. Amen. Amen. He didn't have to have no surgery. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to take no ibuprofen. He didn't need 
didn't need nobody to do anything. I'm telling you, the supernatural power of Jesus went down to his ankle bone, and he went in there praising God better than the people who had already been in praising God all that time. He beat them praising God. He sure did. Amen. Amen. That's good, sir. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. So supernatural strength comes when I use the name of Jesus. Amen. The name of Jesus delivers a Christian of strongholds. Yes. You want to be delivered of strongholds? Begin to use the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, in the name of Jesus, I'm delivered from my past. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I'm delivered from generational curses. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I'm delivered from lust. In the name of Jesus, I'm, I'm rich and not poor. In the name of Jesus, I got a good marriage. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to be married. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to be promoted. In the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus, the impossible becomes possible. Y'all don't believe that. I say in the name of Jesus... And, and, and see the stronghold that that, that stronghold that I, that I can't has to be broken. That stronghold of an obstacle has to be gone, has to be delivered. Yeah. What could you do if you did not fear? That's a stronghold. Fear is a stronghold. Well, what if? The name of Jesus don't have a what if. The name of Jesus say I'm healed. In the name, in the name of Jesus, I'm, I'm healed. By his stripes I were healed. In the name of Jesus. There is no I, I wish I could be. If, if it's your will, Lord. No, that's not in the name of Jesus. If you don't mind, Lord. If you don't mind, come on. Would you, could you, should you, Lord? No, no, no. In the name of Jesus, it's already done. Yes. Oh, that's faith in Jesus' name right there. It's already done. And I praise him like a man that got the that got the strength in his in his leg. I praise him like I already got it. Right. Amen. I praise him like it's already done. That's in the name of Jesus. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. Amen. The name of Jesus brings healing. We see that in the scripture. It brings healing. Not only does it bring physical healing, it brings emotional healing. Some of us need emotional healing because we're still living in our past. Hey, I ain't get no amen. That's okay. But we need deliverance from psychological things that have happened in our past. We can't get over it. We can't get past because every time God gets ready to do something, we bring up the thing that happened to us. Come on now. Bringing up the past is a stronghold. And we need healing from it. Y'all not going to say amen. We need healing. The name of Jesus gives a believer power over the enemy. You want power over the enemy? You want power over yourself? Use the name of Jesus. Amen. And sometimes you have to cast the enemy out of yourself. Because it's not the enemy outside, it's the enemy in you. The in uh, me. Yeah, it, it, what's inside of me is killing me. I'm killing my own self. The devil ain't got nothing to do with it. Say it, say it, so. say it so. My thoughts are keeping me where I am. Somebody said the power of the name of Jesus. You use the name of the you use the name of Jesus. I'm telling you, everything has to go. It's not like him. The name of Jesus shows victory over any adversary. You want victory over your adversary? Use the name of Jesus. And when you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, you can use it with confidence. Yes, Lord. You can use it with confidence. When you pray, you pray in the name of Jesus. When you, when you, pro, when you proclaim something, you proclaim it in the name of Jesus. When you confess something, you confess it in the name of Jesus. That secures your victory. That secures your victory. Somebody say, I have victory, I have victory. Over, everything over everything that's not like God, not like God. In, Jesus in Jesus' name. Not in your name, in Jesus' name. Jesus. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Faith in Jesus' name will give you the victory. Yes. Amen. 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 I have the victory. I don't know about y'all. I have the victory. Yes. 
I am loving. I'm, I love. I love God. I love my life. I love what He's doing. I ain't looking. I'm not looking across the. I'm not looking across at my neighbor's yard. I'm not looking across the street. I'm not looking at my coworker. I thank God for who I am and what He's doing in me. And as a matter of fact, I say, God, what you gonna do next? Blow my mind. Gonna do next? Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name. I like this. I saw this saying. Y'all gonna like this. When Satan attacks you, command him in the name of Jesus to bend his neck. On the back of it, you will find there's a nail scarred footprint. The belly victory, I don't know what it is. You mean to tell me in Jesus' name, he has already put the devil in his place. He has already put his foot on the back of his neck. And when you look at the back of the neck of Jesus, I mean the, the enemy, you will see Jesus' footprint. That's what he's done for you. That's what he's done for me. Somebody said, I have the victory in Jesus' name. That's what he's done. Amen. That's what he's done. He's given me the victory that goes in his name. So there is nothing that should have control over me, not even me. Amen. Oh my God, I'm going to preach this side. I said nothing should have power over me, not even me. I've been defeated. I've been defeated. Oh, y'all don't want defeated. Flesh has been defeated. Flesh is into me against God. Flesh is going against God. So guess what? Flesh, I'm putting you under the cross. I'm putting you under the blood. And I'm putting you in Jesus' name. Become subject to the name of the Lord Jesus. Even myself. Y'all can't say amen to that. Even myself. Even myself. Victory over myself. E. Stanley Jones said that. Amen. Amen. So in Jesus' name, somebody say, in Jesus' name, in Jesus name. look at John 16, 20, 23 through 24. This is what I want you to do. Ask the Father for whatever is in keeping with the things I reveal to you. Mm-hmm. Say it with me. Ask, 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 ask in, my name, in my name, according to my will, to my will. and he'll most certainly give it to you. Amen. If God gave you Jesus, come on. What did he won't give you? Amen. Right. Amen. What? What? <laughs> if God gave you Jesus, right. what is it that he won't give you in his name? Right. So when I ask in Jesus' name, well, what is his will? His will is his word. Amen. See, we're praying a miss, Doctor, and we're praying our will. Amen. We're praying somebody else's will. But when we pray the will of God, which is the word, if you want to know that your prayers are in line with, with the will, put it against his word. That's it. Amen. Is it his will that you be healed? Yes. Because his word says you're healed. Is this, is this his will that you be prosperous? Yes. His word says I'm prosperous. Whatever his word says concerning you. That is for you. Amen. That's his will. Amen. Amen. Does he want you to be delivered? Yes. His word says he wants you to be delivered. Amen. Does he want you to be saved? Yes. He want, does he want your household to be saved? Yes. Amen. That's in his word. If we pray according to his word, we won't have to worry about our prayers not being answered. Right. Amen. 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 But what we mess up is we're praying selfish prayer. We're praying our will. We want, we, we want God to do our will. Our will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Bless my will, Lord. This is what I want, Lord. Here's my Christmas list. Here's my Santa Claus list. Number one, I want you to make me rich. I need more money. But we've been a good steward of what we already got. <laughs> Praise the Lord. This is good teaching today. So, it, so why not ask in Jesus' name, 
Help me be a good steward over what you already give me in Jesus' name. Amen. Help me to stretch this money, Lord. In Jesus. Help, Lord, I want to be a tither. Lord, I'm a tithe in Jesus' name. That's right. That's right. I'm going to give in Jesus' name. I'm going to sacrifice in Jesus' name. That's his word that he wants us to prosper. So if he wants us to prosper, that our souls may prosper. Be in health as our souls prosper. I have to do what his word says in order for me to get the benefits of his word. Amen. That's prayer. Prayer is not what we want. Prayer is what he wants. Amen. Oh, okay. Amen. Amen. Okay. And he'll most certainly give it to you. Your joy, listen, will be a river overflowing its banks. Amen. You want your rivers to overflow its banks? You want to be joy, joy, happy, happy, glad, glad? Pray the word of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Why are Christians unhappy? Because we're praying our will. That's right. And God ain't answering. That's right. No results. Because we're praying our will in Jesus' name. Wow. <laughs> Our will in Jesus' name. And they don't, they don't go together. Faith in Jesus' name with your will doesn't work. No work. So we have to have faith in Jesus' name and pray according to his word. I got, I got, I got a little word. Here we go. Mark 9 and, 9 and 38. John spoke up. Teacher. Say it with me. We saw a man using your name to expel demons. Say it with me. We saw, we saw a, man a man using your name, using your name to, expel to expel demons. The name of Jesus expels demons. Yes. And we stopped him because he wasn't in our group. Come on now. Jesus wasn't pleased. Don't stop him. No one can use my name and do something good and powerful and in the next breath cut me down. Wow. If he's not an enemy, he's an ally. Amen. Why anyone by just giving you a cup of water in my name is on our side. Count on it that God will notice. Amen. Even though there wasn't with the original disciples, there were other people who believed in the power of Jesus' name and used it and got results. Yes, sir. And they wasn't his disciples. Nope. And the disciples wanted to stop them from doing it because they were getting results. They got jealous. You mean to tell me I'm going to let somebody else... Uh, who is out, uh, an outsider, I got a relationship with God and I'm not going to use his name? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. When you use the name of Jesus and you have a relationship with him and you use his name, everything is subject. That's right. Man, sir, man. Every demon is subject to the name of Jesus Christ. Right. So if demons are subject to the name of Jesus Christ, that means principalities, that means environments, that means everything around me is subject to the name of Jesus. Amen. And I can use his name to cast out whatever I need to cast out. Somebody said, the name of Jesus is powerful. In Acts 9 and 3, how were you baptized then, asked Paul, in John's baptism? That explains it. Said Paul, John preached a baptism of radical life change so that people would be ready to receive the one coming after him who turned out to be Jesus. If you've been baptized in John's baptism, you're ready now for the real thing for Jesus. Acts 9 and 5 and 7 says, and they were, as soon as they heard of it, Say it with me. They were baptized. They were baptized. They were baptized. They were baptized. They were baptized in the name, in the name of, the of the master Jesus. Jesus. Paul put his hands on their heads and the Holy Spirit entered them. Mm -hmm. From that moment on, they were praising God in tongues and talking about God's actions. Altogether, there were about 12 people there that day. Amen. I want to leave you with this. When I have a relationship with Jesus Christ and I use his name, that means I am ready to be immersed in Jesus.
Wow. Amen. And what this is telling me, the revelation I got is that when I'm baptized in Jesus' name, that means I use his name anytime, any place, anywhere. Amen. They were baptized in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that they, that they just knew of him. Mm -hmm. That means that they were fully immersed in him. Mm -hmm. And being fully immersed in Jesus means to be fully immersed in his word. That's it. Amen. When I'm fully immersed in his word, listen, this is a revelation I want you to get. When I'm fully immersed in his word, that means it comes out automatically. It comes out automatically. I don't even have to think about it no more, Dr. Odom, that when my finances are messing up, even before they get messed up, listen, if I'm fully immersed and baptized in Jesus' name, I'm praying before they get bad. Oh, yes. I, I, I'm not waiting for my body to be sick. I'm already praying healing before it gets sick. So if sickness tries to come, sickness already know you can't come here because in Jesus' name I've been baptized in the Word. And when you see my when you see my body, you see the Word of God. And when I put the name of Jesus on it, you can't come. In other words, the name of Jesus keeps you healed. The name of Jesus keeps you financially stable. Yes, the name of Jesus keeps you emotionally stable. Yes, there is no highs. There is no lows. Thank you, There's only up. Thank you, Lord. There is no one day up and one day down, almost level to the ground, or oh, having a bad day. Oh, no, in Jesus' name, when you've been fully immersed in the baptism of Jesus, you don't have a bad day. I ain't getting nobody to say nothing right here. There are always songs in my heart. There's always melody in my heart. I always got something good to say. I am optimistic and not pessimistic. I'm so immersed in Jesus. When when coworkers, when negative people, I said, get, I said, get away from me. That's why. That's why. Amen. Yeah, I tell you, you get, you get away. You are a pessimistic person. I don't want your negativity to rub off on my Jesus. Oh, don't believe, I tell you, I, I got one person who is all, oh man, he, he, he is paranoid. Oh, they're going to find me. Oh, 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 do you know? Oh, they, he paranoid. I said, get away from me. Because I don't want your paranoia to rub off. I'm having a good day. I'm going to continue to have a good day. I am optimistic. I'm praying in Jesus' name. I just left the presence of God. Now you're going to let, I'm going to let you spit vomit on me. The devil is a liar. I don't care how much I love you, I don't care how much I like you, but if you are not in the vein that I'm in, if you're not optimistic, if you're not baptized in Jesus' name, then you can't, you can't sharpen my arm. Amen. I don't talk to negative folk. Amen. 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 Ain't nobody saying nothing. Amen. I'm not going to let negativity rub off on me. I'm not going to let faithless people kill my faith. You mean to tell me I'm good all this faith up and now I'm going to get around somebody who is faithless and you're going to bring my faith. all I don't work hard for and now I'm going to let you bring me down the devil is a lie. Somebody say in Jesus name. In Jesus name. I'm baptized in his name. I'm living in his name. I'm immersed in his name. I'm fellowshipping in his name. I'm communion in his name. Whenever I feel tired, I say, in the name of Jesus, tiredness, get up off of me. I am not, I, I'm not even going to say I'm tired. Amen. Amen. Do you know your body responds to what you say? Your finances respond to what you say. People in environments respond to what you say. So I say in Jesus' name, it's going to be this way. In Jesus' name, it's going to be that way. You speak it into existence and you put the name of Jesus on it. That's fully baptized and immersed in him. And I want to leave you with this. God is looking for people who are fully immersed 
in him. The world needs to see somebody who is fully immersed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. The head of my division comes to me for prayer. Amen. 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 Yes, See him in the hallway and say, Odom, 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 come put come, come, come yes. to the side. Come on, Odom. Yes. I got hey, man. Yes. Yes. I got a situation. I need you to pray for yes. me, man. Pray for me. Yes. Yes, sir. I mean, GS, I mean, the director of the department. Yes. Wow. Yes. 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 yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's how much influence we have to have. That's, right. That's how we have to be immersed. The world is looking for somebody who is immersed in bap baptized in Jesus' name and is not compromising Amen. with the world. Do we have enough baptism of Jesus that we can make an influence and an impact in our environment? Amen amen. 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 amen, amen. It can be no less, people of God. Amen. It can be no less. If we are, we just like God told said in Sunday school, we just we 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 just mark your time. We just we just barely make it. We just compromise. We just there. We just here. Yes. Amen. But we're here to make an impact. Yes. Amen. And I'm telling you, the only way we're gonna be able to make an impact is that we have to be fully immersed in Jesus' name. And listen, it's not hard, y'all. We make it hard, but it's not hard. Amen. Only thing you have to do, listen, step one is get a relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. The next thing is use his name. That's right. And the, the third step is to be baptized, fully immersed in his word. How do I do that? Just immerse yourself. That's all you have to do. Just immerse yourself in the word. That's all you have to do to be fully Baptized in him, it just immerse yourself in the word. Amen. Because from Genesis to Revelation is Jesus. Amen. From Genesis to Revelation is Jesus. So wherever you go in the Word of God, you are immersing yourself in the Word of God. From Genesis to Revelation. When you meditate on it, when you when you get it in your spirit, when you speak it, when you confess it, you're immersing yourself in the word. And you're baptizing. That's, that's what fully immersed means. It means to baptize yourself in the word of God. I, I, I challenge you to, ba to baptize, to wash yourself, wash your mind, wash your heart, wash your desire, wash your flesh, wash everything in the word of God. Amen. Why not when they take a smoke break, take a word break? Yes. They get, they get 10 minutes every hour. I get 10 minutes every hour. I'm going I'm to immerse myself in the Word. Why, why run out the door and not spend time in the Word? I got 30 minutes to, before I, I got 30 minutes to listen to the Word. Before I even get to work. We have opportunities. We have to immerse. If we want to see change, y'all, we got to immerse ourselves in the Word. What's going to make us different than the, than the average Christian? The Word. You know, they did a survey that you, everyone's standing. That the, 